Hi everyone, Pastor Scott here. It is time for our Tuesday devotion. We are now jumping into the New Testament, uh, starting here this week with October 24th in mind. Uh, the book of Matthew. Uh, Matthew, a Jewish person himself, offered a great Jewish perspective on the ministry of Jesus in his gospel. He includes more than 50 direct citations from the Old Testament, and this indicates that Matthew had the Jewish population in mind when he sat down to write to explain that he is king, that Jesus is king. In addition, Matthew's gospel answers the question on the mind of every Jewish reader, if Jesus is the king of the Jewish people, then where is God's promised kingdom? And Matthew reveals that Jesus did offer the kingdom to Israel, but the offer was rejected. And you can see that in Matthew chapter 4, chapter 16, and chapter 21. And God's primary work in the world now is accomplished through the building of his church. Christ church. And when Jesus comes again to earth, he establishes his kingdom. Now, there is still obviously the hope for Israel, but that is found in Christ. When you read this gospel, it's uh, really easy to apply this. After enduring 400 years of prophetic silence, uh, God's people must have wondered whether or not he had deserted them. And it was true then, and it's certainly true today. Uh, you can feel as though God has deserted you uh, or that he, you sit in silence in the face of all of these requests uh, that uh, have been made and you just don't see anything happening. And as you read through the pages of Matthew, not only do you see uh, Jesus revealed as Israel's king and Messiah, but he's coming to earth as God in the flesh uh, that reminds us of his deep love for us. Now resurrected and ascended, the Lord Jesus is always with us, even to the end of time, as it says in Matthew 28, 20. Now Christ's commission to his followers is still his mandate uh, for us today to make disciples of all nations in Matthew 28, 19. So Christ's work of building his church and his kingdom is the work that he does through each one of us. And it is a great book to read. And I encourage you to read through the Gospel of Matthew this week. Okay, so on top of that, we have our Thursday Bible study going and prayer time. Love to have you here for that. And then this next Sunday here at church, uh, I believe that's the 29th, October 29th, we've got uh, our patio fellowship after church with pizza and salad and drinks and all the fun. We've got a lot of new people uh, that are going to be welcomed into membership uh, this Sunday as well. And uh, we also, I think we have a baptism this Sunday. So it's a lot of things that are going to be happening Sunday. Invite some friends to be with you. It'll be a great time. Hope you have a blessed week and we will see you soon.